Hello, my name is Janina and I'm a data analyst at DBT Provider. Today I'm going to show you how we can use measure names in parameter action in Tableau. In this way, we can compress the information in order to find out more information regarding one subject in just one dashboard. For this, we need to connect to sample superstore data source offered by Tableau. Let's start by creating a sheet name, product, and segment status, and then I'll drag category and subcategory on rows, measure names on columns, and measure values next to it. I'll only keep profit, quantity, and sales, and I'll get rid of the others' measure values. Then I'll drag with the control click measure values on colors and I'll show mark labels and I'll change the, the visualization to entire view. Well, that's looking good. Then I'll create another sheet named measure evolution and a new, a new parameter named select measure with data type string and a list with profit, quantity, and sales. I'll click OK. Then I'll create a calculated field named selected measure. Then we have case, our parameter, when profit then profit when quantity then quantity when sales then sales and and click ok then I'll drag order date on columns and keep it as an as a year. Again, I drag order date, but but this time I'll change it to month. I'll choose entire view, and I'll put our uh, calculated field, which is selected a measure on rows. I'll drag it again, and right click on the on the second field, and choose dual axis. Click on the first axis and choose synchronize axis. Now for the first field I'll keep it as it is automatic, but for the second I change I'll change it to circle and put selected measure on color. Well, that's looking good. Let's create a dashboard. I'll name this uh, dashboard. Uh, use measure names in parameter action. First, I'll drag a vertical container in it. Then I'm going to put my sheets. I'll remove the legends. Now I'll go to dashboard, actions, add action, and I'm going to choose a filter action. And the source sheet will be product and segment status, status, run action on select, and the target sheet, um, the sheet will be measure evolution, and we'll choose uh, exclude all values. Okay, and I'll add another action, change parameter for the source sheet. We'll keep product and segment status, run action on select, target parameter will be select measure, and the source field will be measure names. Okay. Okay. Now when we select a category or an a subcategory, we can view its data in our graph below. Uh, 
this is it for today. I hope you enjoy it. And if you have any question, please don't hesitate to contact us. See you next time. Bye.